I was meditating last night and when I meditate, I just let things come to me. For a second, you came into the picture and then right after that, 2001 came into the picture. Like clearly it was written in white letters, 2001. It looked like a date to me. Damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Well, you would have been 13. That sounds about right, yeah. You were having a meditation and then I, Sammy, popped into your yeah. experience. Yeah. And then it was immediately followed by, you saw 2001. 2001, right at the bottom. Clear, white, thick letters. At the bottom. So my face and then 2001. It wasn't was like a mugshot, no, no. I'm not processing and I'm not thinking why or what or anything. And so I just thought I would ask you, what was your life? What did it look like? It, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I have a question first maybe. And then yes. we'll dig, figure that out. Absolutely. Um, were there any like emotions that accompanied any of this? It didn't seem it because it was very quick. You just popped right in to my conscious visually. It was shortly after that that my brain was off, going off onto other things. The next, just, yeah. It, it was just, yeah, just kind of like cruising through space. It was, <laughs> I'm just letting, <laughs> letting things come in and letting things go out. Was I seeing the past? I don't know. And it was this face with hair and like this age, you saw me as, it, what, how old was I? I don't know, actually, because you, uh, huh. It was you, but were you the age you are right now? That's that's a good question. And yeah, because we only I met six months ago, six months or whatever ago, right. it is, or less. Right, right. You were, I would have been like thir yeah, like you said, thirteen or so. I think in what I was seeing of you, you looked older than that. But I can't really. Do you have a clear image? Say for of, sure of like his face and his what he was doing, or what the what's the frame? What if we actually looked at like fleshed it out more? Just standing there, just standing there. there. There wasn't any really wear around it. Okay. I, I don't think there was any, there wasn't, there was any, there wasn't any reference of place. Okay. That, that I could see. I wasn't digging and I probably should have started digging when that happened. And mm -hmm. I got to learn to do that. I'm still, well, that's what we can I'm do still right really now. practicing digging in and trying to, trying nice. to see what that kind of stuff is. Nice. Yeah. 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 Well, I love that you were just letting it come and go. Right. Yeah. And then what we did last time in our last video too, is we just went back into it. Yeah. You can always go back into your dreams, your visions. Even though it happened already, we can go in now. So that's what I was gonna have us do. Yeah. After I maybe give us a little more context about, I, I can at least try to think about what was 2001 for me, and then maybe that'll inform some of it. That's true. That's true. It might. So does that sound? You would, yeah. Would you do that? Yeah, we could try that. Mm -hmm. Cool. 2001. If I was 13, it means I was just becoming pubacious, probably getting acne at that time. That was probably around the age where I started to feel pretty bad about myself. Between sixth and seventh grade. Yeah, what a terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> <What's that? laughs> it was the beginning of the, yeah. Well, that, that's the, probably true for everybody like that. It's, it's some, but that's a hard time for any, any everybody i mean looking back at it, i mean just the school i went to it was public school and just uh this like doesn't feel safe to be here uh, all the time and not really even knowing that it didn't feel safe just this is what it is yeah i lost some innocence at that time i was starting to notice girls right right and that wasn't working out very well <laughs> 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 so i began That's to start to point. think of myself as this yeah like not a popular kid, and that became my identity. Oh. So yeah, I would say that's a pivotal time. Definitely feels like the, a transition period, yeah. is what I'm getting right now, is a transition from this more innocent childhood and more innocent, like I'm just being, I'm just here, to this self-awareness coming in, and then this identity starts to form. And that happened to me, and I'm, I'm saying all that also generally, that's a yeah. phase where that happens, Yeah, I think. Does. So now, yeah, let's let's go into your vision. Okay. You're free open to that. Let's see what we have. Let's see if I can try. Let's see if we see what happens with it. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, we'll just sit here and take a breath. And viewers, you can breathe with us and start to 
be in the meditation with us as well. So just start to notice your breath. Feel how your breath expands your belly. And you can feel maybe even yourself sinking into your body and just dropping down into your belly, into your pelvic bowl. You can feel your legs activating and running down into the ground beneath you. Just touching in with the earth, letting it know that we're here with the earth. And then find our consciousness, find us back in the belly. Just soft, present. You can feel our heart feel soft and open. Shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed. And I wanna invite an activation of our inner vision, which could be in the third eye, the forehead area. We're just gently turning that on and allowing ourselves to start to see from within our inner vision. Still connected with our belly and our body here. And yeah, Mark, I wanna invite you to return to that image that you saw of Sammy. And what do you see? I think you were younger, but you weren't that young, but you were younger. Long hair, smiling. Is he looking at you? Uh, yeah, kind of in a playful way, it seems. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a curious, curiously. Do you feel connected with him? Like, are you sharing eye contact and a connection? Not completely, no. Okay. He's looking at you, yeah? So how does it feel to be looked at and to make, to have this connection happening? It seems like a communication's trying to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there anything that's stopping the communication or slowing it down? Something is. I'm not sure what. I want to invite all of us, including you, Mark, to feel into our hearts for a moment. Just find a safe place to rest in the heart. And Mark, inviting you to also, your heart to become aware of this being who you're with, his heart, as well as his gaze and his curiosity and his playfulness. How does that feel? It feels warmer. Yeah. And then similarly, the invitation is to drop even down into the belly and feel the belly soften, your belly soften. And what is it like to be receptive and open to the, the belly energy of this one in front of you. It feels more receptive now. Yeah, I'm seeing you both facing each other and there's a lot more energy exchange happening. There is a lot more. Yeah, I can feel more of you now and or more of that person. Yeah. And the energy. Yeah. Is a, almost like, not crying for help, but I can feel the wanting help or needing help mm. kind of feeling. Okay coming from him. Uh-huh. Yeah. You feel a sense of he wants help. He wants something. He wants support. Yeah. I'm going to say what I'm seeing and then we can interface with how you're, with what happens when I say it with you. Okay. So I'm seeing that he's actually in his early 20s or mm -hmm. something like that. And he's connected to a younger version of him, of me. There's three of us now. So there's me sitting here. There's this 20 year old Sammy that you're connecting with directly right now. And then he's connected with a younger version from 2001 who's going through a transition that is now currently really affecting it. Oh. His 20, ver 20 year old version self. Yes. And so we're moving all through the line and you're acting as a transmuter and a conduit of connection. And we thank you for doing this for us because this healing is multidimensional, is beyond time and space. 
Yeah. Because it's almost like a straight line of there is this 20-year-old something, and then beyond that is the younger version. That is absolutely correct. Yeah. And there's another one from, from the 13-year-old. There's an even younger version. There's like moment, there's like this leapfrog of moments, these series of moments that are all being called into presence right now that are all equally existing in all time and space, multidimensionally with this being. Oh, absolutely. And so we're just feeling it. There's nothing to fix or change at the moment, but we're just feeling into the connection and the energy and the connection with these various beings and the truth of that. Yeah, it feels almost more like a bounce now, like it's going up and then down on the next, up and down on the next, up and down on the next, as it, as it goes to each one. Yeah, so wow. let's actually breathe. And as we do that, we can just feel that energy of the line and the energy moving f from all of these and ourselves within it. We can just feel it strengthen with each breath. The connection itself is growing stronger and fuller. As we breathe in, and as we breathe out, we can imagine that anything that's blocking the connection that's in the way can just sort of dissolve and release. And we might even include that each of these beings is surrounded by beings who they, their friends and their family, that they're directly affecting. And so the healing is <laughs> many dimensionally. And it's simply about connecting right now these different aspects of Sammy, who one of them is speaking right here, even. And from this version of Sammy speaking right here physically, there's even a higher and older version of him that is wiser and has had more life experience and can see clearer than all of us, in a way. I see that. I've totally brought that into light. I can absolutely see that. Yeah. 60, 70, 80. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow, wow. And he's looking down the whole line, yes? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and the child can look up through the line at him, <laughs> and everyone in between oh. can be feeling that, that exchange oh, and wow. part of it, and it gets to flow. I can feel it. I can feel the energy between all of them. I'm getting a golden light this whole time. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, Sammy's energy is golden. Wow. Yeah. I see your golden light. I wonder if the younger version, now that it can see the older version, knows that that was the path that it mm, wow. wanted. Yeah, um, that feels great. <laughs> yeah. That feels great. It's like letting the younger version know who otherwise doesn't know that he is more, that he's on a beautiful, magical path. Yes. That that is the deepest truth, that that is the fullest, deepest truth. Yes. And he's activating him sooner. Like my version of my life, Sammy here, didn't have a wake up experience until I was, yeah, like 21. So, you know, just before or around this time that we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Giving this gift from that wake up, that deep knowing wake up of yes, love. We love you, we're here, you're beautiful. We're letting that transmission go all down the line. All down the line. And know that the things that are in the clouds, like you know, the field around him is like maybe dark and there's different things forming, but there's this light at the core of that that is being looked at so directly and so lovingly and so profoundly from these older versions and these higher lights that are coming all the way down. That that younger version his life path is changed forever because he now can see and feel. It's like meridians on the body. It's like this one body, right? Of like <laughs> the whole lifetime is one body in this interesting metaphor. And we're just lighting yes. up those meridians so that the entire lifeline is glowing golden. And he's able to be him full, his full knowing self more so than in other iterations. Really and even this Sammy physically here is going to receive those blessings 
of having a foundation that's fuller than it was of knowing who he is and what he is through this healing. And it's my job right now to breathe into that and to feel that. And receive that. What's happening for you? I'm just feeling the energy between each one going down the line. Oh. You're looking at the path? Mm hmm. And what do you see? Each generation going up. Each generation? Lined up? Each, yeah. Each iter iteration? Iteration, yeah. 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 What are they doing? They're just standing there. The older one is looking down though at all the other ones, and, and the, the younger ones, the 20 and, and younger, are looking up mm. at the older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The anchor. Yeah. It's like the anchor. And you seem to kind of be looking both ways. Huh. Yeah. Almost like you have two faces, one on each side of your head. That's relevant. Yeah, this is the stage where Sammy, I get to do that. Look in both directions. What is Mark getting from this experience? I can feel each one of you as you were getting younger and getting older. It's really cool. Yeah. What's it doing to your energy field or your internal energy field? Uh, Just being here. I think it's mer it's merging with it more than like expanding it or contracting. It's just kind of mixing. How's it feel? It's, it's somewhat draining too. Draining. Somewhat. Hmm. Yeah. Curious. What do you need right now? Uh. Yeah, we want to invite you. We're all speaking now. We want to invite you, Mark, to to feel what your what the gift is that you're receiving from this, because we are receiving from you. We are receiving from you having had this vision and then followed up to feel this healing, which we didn't know was coming. But we are so grateful, so beautifully grateful for you. I just feel great that I can have this experience and have this experience for you and for for this whole thing. From here we can see that this is what you do, not just for one individual, but for all of us who are even watching this. Sure. We're connecting the lines for all of us into these deep timelines, these multidimensional timelines, up, yeah. down, all around. Yes. And we're waking up the energy fields that are these golden, deep, vibrant colors for all of us, we each have our own different colors. And that vibration, that vibrancy is waking up and you're a person who, just by being you, that's what you, this is what you do, we'll say, we'll invite, we'll yes. offer. And so our question to you, and it doesn't have to be answered now, but our question is, what do you receive? And how do you receive it? And where does it feel so right and so good? And what's it doing for your field? Because as much as you're giving, you're receiving. And that's huge. Because what you give is huge. So we invite you to receive that. And to receive the love that all those who are watching this right now, both physical and non-physical beings, humans across time and space, are giving you love right now. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling the love. This is it. This is what the new earth is. Simply breathing in and out love. Giving and receiving becomes one. And it's very colorful.
Yeah, now we're anchoring it, or I'm anchoring it. You do whatever you're doing. <sighs> and we can start to come back into this physical space when we're ready. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. And seeing your old, older self was amazing too. You're bigger, a nice big beard, and you had long hair. You had, a big beard. You, you looked like, <laughs> yes, a big beard and long <laughs> hair. And you were, you were just magical. Like you, you could tell you were just this, this very powerful is the wrong word, but very like being. You, it was, Wow. Yes, oh. yes. Wow. <laughs> a big long, he had a big long heavy coat on that was like all the way down. <laughs> a a <Right>? sorcerer magician. <laughs> like rooted in wisdom and earth wisdom. <laughs> Golden a, light and. That, that was exactly Bless this. him, bless me, bless that, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bless <laughs> you. <laughs> Integrating this experience to me means continuing to chat about it, noticing if you or I have any needs around, hey, I needed to talk about this part or this part, or I need to process this part or this part. Mm -hmm. um, noticing if there is, this is a very, for me, a very opening experience. My field feels great. Mm -hmm. So I will be on, oh, just aware if later my field contracts, because often after an expansion for me, I all, it feels, it contracts. Yeah. And if I'm not paying attention, it can be like, wow, this is horrible. <laughs> and so just self-care is for me is being aware of that, allowing a contraction to happen. If you ever, if you're having a contraction ever, the invitation is to allow it, allow the contraction. And then to continue to connect and have these conversations where I'm not, you know, giving you advice or what you should do or what we should do, but we're just asking questions and we're connecting authentically together. Yes, so yes. <laughs> these are some integration tips for this experience or yes. any experience you have that is oh. wow. uh, I didn't know when we started this that this was where this was going to go so it was this is all completely uh, I don't say on the fly but there was no this is where this is where this went healing it's, improv healing it, yep <laughs> as many energy took us all right thank you friends uh, thanks. thanks we're going to keep hanging out but thanks. for you guys <laughs> peace thanks Ha, ha, ha.